More battles, more violence, and more gore. That's what you can expect from 300 Rise of an Empire. This supersized sequel to the 2007 hit also adds sex and strong language to the mix. So while teen fans may be scrambling to see it, this tale of bloody vengeance is definitely meant for adults. Are you accepting my offer? My answer is still no. <laughs> Rise of an Empire focuses the story on a Greek general who hopes to unite all of Greece. But before a new democracy can develop, the Greeks must go to war against the powerful Persian navy, led by an unforgiving warrior woman and the half-god king Xerxes. For glory's sake! Yeah. The stylized violence in this over-the-top adventure is extremely gory. In the many fight scenes, viewers see sliced up bodies, severed limbs, and huge gushes of spraying blood. There's also some female toplessness and suggestions of sexual abuse. Buried beneath all the bloody mayhem is a vague lesson about working together to attain peace and freedom. Common Sense Media gives 300 two out of five stars and says it's an iffy choice for teens age 16 and up. For more reviews and age-appropriate media picks, check out our mobile app or visit us at commonsense.org. I'm Lori Burke.